Week 14 of the high school football season took NMPreps.com to Aztec, New Mexico for a fantastic matchup between the 11-0 Belen Eagles and the 11-0 Aztec Tigers in the semifinals of the Class 4A New Mexico High School football bracket. We pick it up early in the first quarter. Bryson King, Mr. Football Candidate, hooking up with Ty Atencio. He's only a junior. And then a few plays later, Bryson King scrambles, steps up in the pocket, fires, touchdown, just like that. Aztec on the board, 7-0. And then on Belen's first possession, what do they do best? Just come out running the football. Dylan Barba, first down. Steven Contreras, another first down. Belen, just like that, slicing down the field. A few plays later, touchdown, and just like that, we're in a track meet, 7-7. Here come the Tigers on their second offensive possession. Bryson King looking for his favorite Tiger target, Tylen Hirsch. First down, but other than that, they can't get things going. Going to have to punt, bobble the punt. They're going to set up Belen in great field position off the five-yard punt. But Belen can't get anything going. Dylan Barba getting wrapped up in the backfield. So the Eagles are going to take to the air. Barba throws a lofty pass, and it's going to be picked. Aztec, now with the momentum, trying to get something going. In the second quarter, King finds Michael Perry, the sophomore running back, picking up the big first down. Aztec moving the football. And then King's going to show his running abilities. Look at all that time in the pocket. Steps up, steps left, steps right. Escapes a defender. We can't find him. He's going to pick up a couple blockers. He's going to pick up the first down. King then back to pass. All day to throw once again. Looking, looking. Finds his favorite target, Tylen Hirsch. Hirsch does the rest. Going to nick the pylon. It's not called a touchdown. They're going to score one play later. They take the lead 14-7. Here comes Bolin. Doing what they do best. Doing work. Rushing the football. Daniel Jaramillo, Mr. Football Candidate. Up inside the 10-yard line. They're going to have to kick a field goal. Dante Berry. Field goal is good, 14-10. Here come the Tigers. Bryson King scrambling, showing off that athletic ability, making defenders miss all day long, picking up another first down. And then King back to pass and uncharacteristically throws his only second interception of the season. That's a 42-2 interception to touchdown ratio. You can't do that against Berlin because they're too experienced. And then Steven Contreras, touchdown. Bolin takes their first lead of the game, 17 to 14. Just before halftime, King trying to move down the field. Can't get anything going. Going to turn the ball over to Bolin. Here we go. And then it's Contreras up the sideline again. Just doing work. Looks like he's just jogging down the field, getting a great block by Dante Berry. Going to set up the Eagles inside the red zone once again. Then the Eagles take to the air. Dylan Barba hooking up with Daniel Jaramillo. Score is now 24 to 14 after a successful PAT. 34 seconds to go. Aztec trying to get on the board one more time before the break. King hands off to Perry. It's going to set up a field goal just before the break. We go into halftime 24 to 17. Berlin on top. And then right out of the gates in the third quarter, Berlin just goes right back to work. Dylan Barber using the stiff arm stick, gets up the sideline. First down, Belen still moving the football. A few plays later, Steven Contreras is going to be stuffed. Aztec coming up with a huge defensive stand. And then King inside his own end zone, using that athletic ability to escape the pocket, picks up a first down, and then this could be the run of the year. Check this out. Hands off to Bryce Grady. Grady, one, two, three defenders are missing. He's going to cut back, cut across the grain again, and then he's going to outrun every single defender on the field. Touchdown just like that. We have a tie game 24-24. to But here comes Boleyn. Quarterback Dylan Barber with a plus 25-yard gain. A few plays later, Daniel Jaramillo jumps into the end zone. Touchdown just like that. Boleyn goes on top. 30 to 24 after a missed PAT by Dante Berry. Here comes Aztec trying to get something going. Bryson King back in the pocket. Can't find a wide receiver. 
all day. Tries to run. This time he's going to be wrapped up. Aztec's going to have to punt back to Belen, entering the fourth quarter. Dylan Barba up to his running abilities again, picking up the first down. And then Dante Berry makes up for that missed extra point and knocks through a 29-yard field goal. Belen goes on top, 33-24. to And here comes Aztec. Gets a big block right there on the left-hand side. And then guess who it is? Jeremiah Hickman, your boy, taking it all the way to the house. No, he's going to be caught by Dante Berry just inside the two-yard line. A few plays later, Aztec going to get a touchdown by Bryce Grady, I believe. And just like that, Aztec back in the football game, doing work. They're on the board. Aztec fans are fired up. Score is now 33-31 to 31 Eagles. Eagles can't convert on a third down conversion. Going to give the ball back to the Tigers. King tried to lead the game winning drive in the fourth quarter. Hooking up with his favorite target again, Tylen Hirsch. Hirsch had a huge day. And then they're faced with the fourth and ten at the 20 yard line. Going to try for the field goal to go up 34 to 33. But Coach Hirsch calls a timeout just before. Going to put the offense back on the field. Calls a route to Tylen Hirsch. It's a first down. They're going to score a few plays later to take the lead. 37 to 33. Eagles. Less than two minutes to go. Trying to get something going. Faced with the big fourth down. Dylan Barba going to pick up a 16-yard gain on a fourth and 15. Are you kidding me? Under five seconds to go. Eagles inside the red zone. They're going to get the snap off. Barba's going to spike it. Aztec thinks they've won it, but wait, there's one second left. Eagles have one more opportunity to win this football game. Mismatch on the outside. Barba sees it, throws for the 6'5 receiver, but it's the 5'8 defensive back for Aztec coming up with a monster play. Last play of the game. Aztec wins in thrilling fashion, 37 to 33. We caught up with Matt Haggerty. Stops and we put up a few scores. Uh, you know, we knew that if we get those stops, you know, if our offense could get out there and put the points up. We did, and it was a lot of excitement. The most exciting part of this game, besides the last play of the game, you guys are faced with the fourth and ten, going for the lead. You guys are lined up for the field goal. It's on the it's on the left hash. Not a good look. Coach calls a timeout. You guys go for it. What did coach tell you? And what were you thinking at fourth and ten? Well, first he asked me, you know, do you want to go for it? And I was like, I don't know. It's you know, we got we got ten yards to go. You know, even a little bit more and um. So I put it in Killian and I guess they called timeout or we did. I'm not even sure. I was, you know, kind of out of it. But uh, he called the offense out there and when he called the play, I thought I might have to go to a guy, you know, someone who's got for sure hands. And when I threw that ball, it was low and outside and Tyron Hirsch, I mean, he did the rest. That was a great catch and uh, he just he, he put, uh, he gave us a chance. I mean, the rest of the way, it was all on him. So about them and how they helped build this program well I can't say enough about them because <laughs> you know we've been 33 and 4 in the three years that we've uh, they've been with us three year letterments and uh, you know they're just a great group of young Danny Jaramillo what a kid Steven Contreras at fullback Dylan Barber at tailback our offensive line which doesn't get enough credit played a great game but those three young men for three straight years have performed and performed admirably and uh, they were, they're, they're great leaders, they're great young men, they're a great example for the rest of our football team, and that goes for all our seniors. I just can't say much, we're, um, you know, enough about our seniors because they've, just like you said, had a great run, we're going to miss them, and we wish them well, and uh, gosh, uh, I can't say enough about them. They're just a super group.